Long-term corticosteroid use has many side effects. Um, could induce the existence of diabetes mellitus. It could lead to osteoporosis. Many people mind that it leads to weight gain. It affects personality, um, can cause stomach upset, can cause hypertension, and those are just some of the things that it can do. So there's pretty good agreement that steroids in the short term are fine, but steroids in the long term are anathema to good medical practice. Other immunosuppressive agents are typically not ver do not have that much in the way of toxicity, even though people worry about them. Usually it's more an issue of how well do they work. They typically work in less than half the patients, and depending on which, one, which agent you're referring to, they may take um, months to work even if they're going to work. And if, for example, you use azathioprine, which is probably the longest used agent outside of steroids, may take two to three months to work, and as indicated, does not have that high a response rate. The number of people who get infections or the number of people who have abnormal liver tests is not very high, but needs to be continually monitored. Mycophenolate mofetil is thought to be potentially more effective and potentially have less side effects. Probably the most, the biggest issue for immunosuppression and infection is that if somebody gets a cold, it may be a more severe cold and may take longer to go away. While this doesn't sound very major, it is annoying and can contribute to the platelet count falling and staying down for longer. In addition, some people don't tolerate it well because of headaches. And that, in turn, is a factor of what is the optimal dose. Some people feel they can use a low dose and it'll be highly effective. Other people's experience is not quite that, and it may depend on which patient population is being treated. Cyclosporin is clearly stronger than the other two agents and may have a higher response rate, but definitely has more side effects definitely has more side effects, but, um, and needs as a result to be monitored more carefully. Levels need to be obtained at regular intervals uh, because of the possibility of kidney toxicity, and there's also the issue of neurologic problems with it. Finally, none of these agents seem to be very curative. The same could be said for other agents such as danazole and dapsone, which have been widely used and generally are tolerable, although many women and many women physicians will not use danazole because of its effects on hirsutism, among other issues. So, Immunosuppressive agents have lost a lot of their use outside of the pediatric population and even there.